The press in Britain and elsewhere in Europe had several headlines from Prime Minister Honorable Gaston Brown's comments. The Independent and Daily Express among the publications which devoted significant attention to the comments from the head of government. In the battle for the most catchy and possibly even most sensational headlines, the Daily Express was definitely out in front with a reference to royal tour fury. It's not quite clear where the fury was. Prime Minister Brown made it clear to the Wessexes the issue of reparations requires open and constructive dialogue. We do not necessarily see it as a, as a, as a contentious issue. Uh, it's an issue in which we believe that um, all human civilization should understand the atrocities that took place during colonialism and slavery, and the fact that <clears throat> we have to bring some balance by having open discussions. Uh, <clears throat> we believe in um, constructive engagement. So. If you notice they didn't any placards. However, he suggested the roles the royals could take in aiding the region's struggle for reparatory justice. Uh, we understand that um, the nature of your job is not to get involved in any um, contentious issue. But at the same time, it's important for you to understand these issues and so that you can even um, use your, uh, let's say, diplomatic influence to, you know, build bridges in achieving the reparatory justice that we are seeking here in the Caribbean. Prime Minister Brown explained why it is important that reparatory justice becomes a reality for countries of the region. We have to acknowledge the fact that we have been left behind as a result of um, you know, the situation associated with um, colonialism and slavery and that there is some need for some um, reparations to help us to build capacity so that we can advance at a faster rate and especially to build resilience. And again, as I said, I know it's a contentious issue. We're not trying to embarrass you. Uh, we're just trying to build awareness. And you need not necessarily comment on this issue because, again, uh, you know, I, uh, we know you represent an institution that does not get involved in um, contentious issues. And indeed, as was expected, there was no retort from the royals on the thorny issue of climate and reparatory justice. Another point raised by the head of government and picked up by many of the international news outlets was the Twin Island State's intention to go the route of becoming a republic in the future, though not immediately on the cards.